Why do I always want to get clapped by Pat when we start? You wish. I do wish. That's what I'm saying. Why do I want to? Yeah, you want to sip? Go ahead, man. Do I do no. I have to put it in your potion <laughs> glass? I'll do it. I don't no, this fuck. isn't washed. I don't okay, <laughs> go ahead. You can have the rest. Actually, go ahead. Kill it. How Kill much? It, oh, there's so much sugar in this. I forgot. It's a sweet I'm trying drink. to cut down on sugars. Really, and sugary stuff. Yeah, Why I that? saw that. Um, one of the actors from that show, Angel, died from a tooth infection. Mm. Oh, tooth infections are scary. Yeah, man. that is scary yeah. as fuck. And you I'm don't worried think about that I'm it because you think, oh, it's just my teeth. It's cavity. It's what kids get. I don't even yeah. think, but of you my think teeth about it. My body. It's actually the closest thing to your brain besides exactly. your nose. And well, your it eyes. stopped his heart, is what I read. Yeah, that's it. It all could really fuck you up. If you get a tooth infection. Infections in general are not, are they're bad. They're really, really yeah. bad. They're not good to have. And mainly, it's a bad thing. Yeah. Unless it's an infection of your devilish side. I have. that's good. I have UK teeth. You do uh, have oh so you admit that the Ir- Ireland no, is in the no, UK. no 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 you just admitted no it. no no you just admitted that Ireland is British well a part of it is but we're gonna take it back <laughs> you're gonna take it back <laughs> I'm we? gonna take it we us three we're we? gonna take Northern Ireland dude I already tried I'll they don't want it. they want it back they, they don't want it back be free this, yeah. the, the they Republic like of it. Ireland they're wants they're it back we're taking it up there the Irish are genetically servile and they like being. Lord it over. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. As an Irishman. True. Oh, that's true. That's as a newfound yeah. Irishman, I know that I don't like being in charge and I like having a boss. Mm-hmm. And so I can, I, I know my brothers and sisters throughout Ireland, we see, we are begging to be Please subjects of the crown. Step on us. Please make us subjects of the yeah. crown. They literally live in hills like hobbits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they have those damn... You see... They want, uh, they, when they build a house, they say, hold on, we need to make sure this house has a way for somebody to walk all over it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, Please. when I sit, lay my head down at night, yeah. I need to know that I there's a possibility I'm being stepped on right now because I'm Irish. Yeah. It's not that they want to live underground because they're rats or moles no, or vermin or anything no, like that. No. That's racist. Yes. Yeah, that'd be fucked up But they up do anything they make, they want it stepped they on. They want it squashed. Yeah. They want any... <laughs> Any dreams or hopes that sit in their house to be squashed. They they put their dream catchers on the ground in their yeah. house so that they just step all <laughs> over them all day, and then they can fall asleep. Speaking yeah. of dreams, I told you guys about that dream that I had. Yeah, that one time where I uh, I helped Genesis write the song Misunderstanding. I don't know what that band is. Genesis, like Phil Collins. Oh, I know Phil Collins. Uh, I had that he dream. He killed a pool or something. Yeah, he watched the guy drown. No, I don't know what the myth was, but I had that dream. And then I, I've been getting really into them. I've been getting really into like Peter Gabriel and stuff. And I read he's, Is that earlier, the one who's alive? That's yeah, he's a, yeah. the one that sings Sledgehammer. Okay. You know? I want to be a yes. sledgehammer. I know that song. I was reading about him and I learned that uh, his wife cheated on him with the guy that produced his fourth album that Shock the Monkey was on. And then he made Sledgehammer, the song that's about how bad he needs to have sex. And then you... <laughs> like imme- the album immediately after he's like, I just got divorced. I'm going, I'm going hunting for pussy. And yeah. then you had a dream about. Well, I had a dream him. that or I had a dream months ago mm-hmm. that I helped Phil Collins write gen, uh, "Misunderstanding." What's and that song? About? That's the that's is the one that's like down, 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 down. But down, what's it about? Bow, bow, when I say what is a song about, I don't. It's about mean him getting stood tune. up on a date. Okay, so it's that, funny that when a, a musician wants to have sex, they write a song about it yeah. instead of just going out. Just go and yeah. fuck. You're sex. a fucking rock star. <laughs> just wear a, a, a <laughs> shirt with your face on it <laughs> yeah. and do this. Why are They're any so stupid, why man. are any rock stars why they gonna ever hear it on made the radio and go cherry pie? Find him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needs oh, it bad. Well, he, he needs it that bad that he's writing songs. So bad he wrote a song about it. All he can think of he can only think in terms of songs. Yeah. I think that the rock star sex lifestyle would get exhausting. We're to mm. the point where I wouldn't even want to think about sex, I'd let be, alone I'd throw up. Tired of sex. Pavlovian. Tired of sex. Yeah. Tired of sex. That's now a good that, song. Basically the only time that idea I, that the the a band would admit that and why is fucking Wait, who, what's that's his a name? song yeah, yeah dude, Weezer is, uh, what's tired of what, sex I don't know a thing about R- what's Weezer. a we, what's a lean singer's name Rivers Cuomo Rooster I know Rivers yeah Cuomo. Rooster Cuomo Rooster I know. Cuomo he is a perfect example of what yeah. I would be like if I was a rock star yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'd be obsessed with a Asian perv. women and 
Oh, I didn't say write that. Write every song about it. I know I that make, about him. I, I'm, my song would be called Across the Road. I don't think I've really <laughs> listened to anything about your neighbor. Why about are a little girl you that lives across so the road from you? close to me. You know I'm supposed to be 100 feet away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I only know their hits, man. I don't know any of these that other That is a hit. What are you talking ones? about? Tired of Sex? I don't know that one. That's like one of the main ones, I would say. Yeah? Yeah. This I know my I'm... name is Jonas. Yeah. From Rock you probably know all the Blue Album. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. I've heard That's most the good of the one. Blue Album. They That's got, the great they, one. I, I would argue Weezer has many, Dude, uh, you're, many of masterpiece albums. I like albums. all of them, but Blue yeah. is the, is Blue the is one. The, Blue, Blue is the one. one. I'm Blue not saying the other ones aren't good, yeah. but Blue is the one. I yeah. even like the one with the monster on the cover. Dude, the monster one, one is good. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that I know was Pork a, and Beans because of the meme yeah. video. Red Album. Yeah, I know that one. But the thing The thing that was so perplexing about this dream that I had is that I never... I had heard that song in my life before, but then in my dream, I heard like I was like in the I was behind the booth. You I never was the heard the song? Two. No, I've heard it. I've oh. heard it before, but it wasn't like a song that I really liked. Okay. But this dream made me really like the song. And you found yourself perplexed. I'm perplexed by this <laughs> <laughs> because in the dream, I'm the guy in the studio doing all this, doing uh-huh. the, the sliders, and okay. I'm telling Phil Collins. You gotta keep going, man. This it's is a, yeah. so good. <laughs> you, gotta, uh, you didn't this think this song's this gonna be a hit. No, I didn't. Wow. I didn't like the song that much. And then I had the dream about it. Then I listened to it like all day, and, and I like was it. like, "This is the best song ever." Yeah. And then I'm get. Then I got. Uh, I'm getting more into them. Now. This is the modern world version of that guy, Kakui or Kako, the guy who solved the chemistry problem in his dream. I don't that remember that. Is he, that from Bionicle? No, that's from Real Onicle. Oh, okay. The, the Chronicle. World. Real Chronicle. The world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, there's a guy who was trying to solve some chemistry reaction thing. Uh-huh. And, and he, he went to sleep and he dreamed of the shape of a ring. And then he woke up and he was like, oh, the molecule that's needs to be ring sick. shaped. Wow. Yeah. I believe but in nowadays that shit. it becomes about I really music. love I really love dream magic. Dream I, magic is crazy. Dream it's, the so subconscious is very, very yeah. powerful. I guess subconsciously I've always loved that song. Yeah. It's where the truth actually comes out. Yeah. I had a dream the other night that I had a blue penis. This is going to happen, man. Like Dr. Manhattan. Yeah. But what did you do with it? Just the wiener. Just the weenie. Just it. What I do with it? it. I woke up to get away from it. Oh, okay. I didn't want to have a life. You ran away. I ran away. I told you guys about the dream I had that we were arguing. Because we had a, it made me it. so sad that, that I you was were, barely in it. You were barely in it. It one. made me really happy. It made you happy because you were the, on his side in yeah. the dream. Yeah. I, was I wasn't in it at all. Joe was your enemy. Joe and Pierce were my enemies. Yeah. We were arguing about um, us doing a sketch show at my childhood home mm-hmm. to my mom and dad. And I was like, well, first of all, we didn't even rehearse. And everyone bought tickets to our show. And when show. he was explaining this in the car, he was actually getting mad again yeah. at the dream scenario. I was getting He's mad like, at well, the dream first scenario. of all, it's at my fucking parents' house. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was showing you what I was doing in the dream. I was acting out what... Yeah, you were acting. I out. was doing. You were acting out in your dream by not even ignoring I exist. Ignoring, yeah. ignoring me. But I you were ignoring. I me. was ignoring you. But I also do. I even exist. Did I tell you? Did I tell you how I woke up from that dream? Was I? I was wearing because oh, no. we were all dressed up. We were all to the nines. Love that. And uh, I was wearing like a white dress shirt, and I jumped into a puddle in front of my house. Oh yes. And then did, the shirt yeah. got dirty, and then in my dream, I was like, "Well, I need to go put this in the washer." You jumped so in I have a to puddle. wake up, and then I woke up. <laughs> it was like, wait, I'm. I've had stuff. Like I'm not that wearing before. a dress shirt yeah. Yeah. where you wake up because you know you're supposed to go do something. Yeah. When you're in the dream. Yeah. Yeah, that's an odd feeling. Yeah, it was crazy. Dreams yeah. are truly so. I wish that a movie director dreams would do something amazing. about dreams. Well, yeah. there's, unfortunately, there's been nothing about dreams. There's so far. nothing. No, there's no. no movies about dreams. Well, no at all. good ones, at least. And all, also, the dream stuff. The only dr- movie that has kind of a dream-like thing in it that makes it is kind of like a real dream. I would say is Eternal Sunshine, where mm. just a bunch of crap is going on. I never yeah. saw that movie. Really? Yeah. I saw parts of it, and even then, I was like, "This is too trippy for me." I saw put it on in, uh, put on Star Wars. <laughs> It is too trippy. I had a freak out the first time I seen that movie at a film class. You lost yeah. it. I lost. I lost the you plot. You crashed out. I had just that. I had just done psychedelic drugs for the first time, and then I watched that movie, and I was like, "This is reminding me too much of being crazy on mm. drugs." And so mm. I had to stop. I closed my eyes for the rest of the movie. Yeah. Closing your eyes is a good cheat code for a movie. It's so easy to escape a movie. You just get when the problem get, is the how sound. Do you get mad at a movie. The sound, but the sound, the sound is hardly tough. ever yeah. offensive. But sometimes you never know. That's you always, true. Well, you never you know. always watch movies with the uh, the descriptor stuff, the deaf people thing. Yeah, where, and where there's like a voice that's he like, walks into he's the room. picking up a piece of poop. 
Well, because I have a hard time with that understanding. That happens in Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told you. It's like he crazy picks up ass a piece dreams. Of he picks up poop <laughs> with his bare hand. A piece of poop. That's Jim like the Carrey. Mid, he's got to be funny. The middle 30. That's true, yeah. And he, he's, yeah, he's, he's making a crazy face. Yeah. 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 Jim Carrey is making a crazy face. He, they should have gotten Jim him. Carrey's face. It looks like <laughs> two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. What a talent he is, man. To be able to do... Right. Being birthed out of a rhino. Both ends. Mm. Yeah, because he did do both ends. He does the girl's yeah. mouth in Eternal Sunshine, does yeah. the rhino's rear. What? In uh, no. does the girl's Ventura. mouth? Probably. They, they There's a few a... movies where he does a girl's mouth. Oh, he does the old lady's mouth in uh, uh, yeah, Yes that's Man. That's true. Come on. That's true. Shout out. Well, he yes does man. a boy's yeah. mouth in I Love You, Philip Morris. I remember what is leaving Yes yeah. Man and being like, I'm going to be a Yes Man. I now. did the same. Th- I've, and we've I, talked about my Yes Man. Yeah, you do it My for first about date when I was 11 years old and I ate all the popcorn and then told the girl, I'm sorry, I thought you didn't want any. <laughs> no, I didn't remember. <laughs> I told you about this. I, d- I definitely have heard yeah. this You story ate all the popcorn? Times. I ate all the popcorn on right the first date. Yeah. I want to be a no Before the movie started. I am a no man. Okay, so starting a no man life, you start right now, right? No. You're starting. No, I'm not. Do a one week no, no man experiment. I'm not. Why? No, I won't. Please See, do it. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. That's your <laughs> Please thing. do wait. it. Wait, he started. No, I won't. Okay, don't. I'm not going to do don't it. Don't do it. Is that part of Yes Man? Does that have to? They no, ever do that? Nobody yes ever man? Nobody <laughs> tricks him. <Yeah. laughs> How to make him say no to something. Yeah, do you want do. to not do this? <laughs> yes. Okay, then don't do it. That's genius. They should make a sequel to Yes Man where somebody, figures that, man. Out. Yeah. somebody figures that out and turns Yes Man into their slave. Yes. And, and he has he to had, escape. It's oh, like a sauce. And, and all man. the guys who are at the Yes Man oh conference, God, wait, he has a full... First half comedy, like audition. First half comedy, second half... Second half... Second half... Second half... Scurry. Uh-huh. Scurry. 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 Where it's that someone finds out he's Yes Man and, and controls and, him. And controls and tortures him that's with the tr- Yes That's exactly how it would happen because the world is so cruel. Yeah. That's what would actually happen. That's how... That would be gritty and realistic. Like if Batman was in real life, yeah, he wouldn't have a flying spaceship. He would just have a car that shoots rockets. Just in yeah. which Mr. Nolan picked up on this pretty mm-hmm. fast. Yeah, but he Mr. also Nolan gave knew. him a bat copter, right? Mm. He gave him he like had a, a he had plane. a normal copter. He had a cape. He had a he had a plane. But that he Dark Knight the Rises with. was kind of the one that stretched reality a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they put like Robin in it. Two Face, I get that. Yeah, mm-hmm. a guy could look like that if something happened to him. Yeah, yeah. odd. A but dog. Catwoman, no. nobody looks like no. That. No one. That's like not normal. Especially not what's her name. No. And Annie Hathaway. Say yes to the dress ass, bitch. Les Mis. Say yes Les to the dress Mis. is not. That's a that's a reality program. Yeah, that's don't a TV show. Don't make me do you. That's that a was, wedding show. No, you're not going to do me. What are you talking do about? You in, sorry, do you in. Don't make me do you in. <laughs> talking about doing me? What are you? I didn't mean it like. I didn't, didn't say don't. I didn't mean don't make me do you. I didn't mean it like that. See, the, you would be you're kind of laying it down for the the evil yes oh, I'm man. I'm laying it yeah. down. See, you're you're doing a great job right what now. So don't make me. me. So how would yes man answer that? Don't well, make me do. Basically, you. what what would happen? So is he would the say guy, yes. Of the bad guy yes, is named don't. No Man. Because well, because yes okay. man is like, can I get a, can I escape? And No, no. Man's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> can you not escape? No man says yes. to yes man like, do you want me to to cut your arm off? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The thing is, it's mm. never gone bad for him before. Yeah. Why? So, he, so the first he time made a, he made it bad for him, he gets put on the no fly list. I didn't see the rest of the movie. I saw the whole thing. I saw to the point where he watched. He fucked the old lady, and he liked yeah. it. And I said, and then I got Danny Masters is his, his best friend in the movie. What? I don't Danny even remember Masterson's him being in, in there. Yeah. He's his best friend in the movie, and then he's a he, real life evil yeah, man. He's yeah. real life no man. He yeah. would be no man in the in the in this in the, the reboot. We the give reboot. Him some, give him some work. That's what you <laughs> <laughs> say they should do. It's like you feel. It would it's be like good. To, it would be B, good to movies. give Danny Masterson <laughs> work as <laughs> an evil every, pervert character. Oh, that's what they so should do. Everyone knows all of the all of the actors and. Uh, people who have done horrible crimes here's who are in the, jail. Yeah. That's here's what they the should. They Chris, should be cast as the Chris villains. Chris would and not have nothing. been so. Pe- people would not have jumped on him so fast if he had not played like a hundred pedophiles yeah, on that's various true, yeah. different TV was shows. Was he in Yes Man? Also, Am he I, was the Yes Man. Because yes then Man. also, I, I'm genuinely confused now. I think he, that he was yes the man? second Yes Man. I don't man. think he's in Yes Man. He's Yes Man's son. If you are, uh, you know what people always say about. People? Wait, they have no man. Who? Look, Rick no, Darby. No, that's Norman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With his accent, I guess it is no man. Yeah, his accent. Norman. 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 Uh, Norman. Norman. So Chris D'Elia is not even in it in a cameo role. No, no but I'm bringing him up because he's an evil People always say about pedophile. actors oh, okay. who play a bunch of villains, 
like uh, they'll say like, oh, I love to hate that guy. Yeah. Can you mm. imagine how much better that would feel if, if you it could was a really hate bad yeah. I hate villain? To hate him. I hate who, to It was like their him. public yeah. service. They don't get <laughs> any you. money. They go back to jail. Yeah. They don't get craft services. No. And guess what? No. Their trailer is a prison uh, uh-huh. cell. Because nowadays with the advent of cancel culture, nobody wants to play villains anymore. They're it's afraid. True. You're I mean, not you allowed should to see the fucking yeah. doesn't have media literacy. The yeah, actors. This is also the only thing it's they true. do. Can uh-huh. you? Can you? Have you ever seen any of these license plates that the actors in jail are pressing? They look like shit. They need to be doing They're something bad. that they actually know how to do. Yeah. They need to be acting. They're putting all the numbers upside down. They're doing fuck. They're writing whole scripts and yeah. printing that into the. They're putting their. They're putting IMDb at Danny Masterson exactly. on license plates. And you're like, I think I know who made this. Yeah, I think I think I can plate. see. I think I can see through this. They need to be acting. Mm-hmm. And yeah. also for anybody who wants to break into acting, just do just be a, a criminal. horrible crime. Mm. Be bad. Remember when the, the like the news dropped about Dandy Masterson and people were circulating that Conan clip where they're like Conan knew. Conan I don't Yeah, there's like a clip I don't remember of that. There's a clip of uh what Danny Masterson makes like some joke about um dating women and then Conan goes, I've heard about you. And it's like clearly such a throwaway joke, but everyone's like, he knew. Conan right. knew. He did and, probably know. And he, he put him on his show. <laughs> Conan like, doesn't get to choose who's on his show. That's yeah, true. That's true. That's a it is the show. network, yeah. I uh, Speaking of people in jail and music, actually, Whoa. I this morning I... I read some. I read the name uh, Mumia Abu Jamal, and I yes. was like, "Oh yeah, I remember something about that guy." And I looked him up, and I was like, "Why do I? Why have I heard like a like something he said, like an interview with him or something?" And then I uh, went to I searched Mumia Abu Jamal rap song, and there's an Immortal Technique song called yeah. Homeland and Hip Hop that I used to listen to every day, probably like thirty times a day, and it's just him talking. And I had no idea who that was, but I was obsessed with Mumia Abu Jamal, and I would talk about him all yeah. the time when I was a kid. Musicians love that guy. Yeah, who is common? He, he was a guy who, yeah, he was a guy who got framed by the police for killing a cop. Oh, and uh, it was like right around like the move stuff in Philly. Uh huh. And then he got like put on death row and then taken off death row, and now he goes on Democracy Now. But he has the craziest voice. Yeah, and he sounded really really cool when I was a kid, and I thought that it was from a movie. But apparently it was a real guy. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, and a really sad story. But uh, yeah, kind of well, the end of yeah. I just I had to <laughs> just tell you guys that okay. that I got obsessed with him and didn't know who he was when I was a kid because I thought that he talked really cool. Hmm. And it's true. Yeah. <laughs> why, are you, why are you looking at me? I don't, I don't know anything about the guy. You don't know? Oh well. Why I'm am learning. I not surprised? I'm learning about him right why now. Why am I not surprised? You don't know anything about Mumia Abu Jamal, and what about? <laughs> Uh, are you familiar with Biggie Smalls? Yeah. Are you? He's like a rapping pig, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, did you say piggy? No, no. I said okay. big, I said pig. Yeah, well, I, maybe I did. I think you I said think piggy. I said biggie, but it could have been saying me saying piggy. <laughs> if you said piggy, then I think I'm pig. right. I think I'm correct <laughs> if you said piggy, but I don't know. Do you think you'd do well on death row? <laughs> Me? Yeah. No. I was talking about death row meals yesterday. Which would you, would you have? Well, I'd have the baked stuff lobster that my dad makes. Oh, you'd, get, you'd make your dad come your to death row. Your fucking yeah, dad. Your dad has disowned, disowned you so you. And I would sit there and I'd point at him and go, hey, check me out, bitch. I'm going to die. I'm famous. <laughs> I'm fucking famous for ah. about to die. You're in front of 12 people. Ah. I'm famous. Ah. I'd, ask for, I'd ask for the, a, the freshly, bah. a freshly made... Century egg. Mm. Mm. They we were, I was There's talking no way about to trick it. them actually. I've looked into it. You can't trick yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was talking about it because it'd just be so that. funny if that would if that worked every single time that like, another fucking guy <laughs> went on Reddit and discovered that you could trick us. But they, they made it so I forget what state it is, but they made it so like it's just a, a checklist and you can say yeah. like I want this. You have to select yes. off of something. You can't Which do is both sense. Yeah. I bet also if they let you I bet it's so many people if they'd let you just select it, they'd say something and then they would just give them something else. And yeah. it's like you know, you can't do anything about it cuz we're going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, who are you going <laughs> to yeah. tell? You're, you're about to die. Yeah. <laughs> There's that guy that ate the one bean. That's the, like the most famous one, the guy I who ate a know. single uh, bean. Is that the most famous one? There's also the guy who had like a thousand he did the old I think you should leave order. Yeah, he ate like a shit ton of stuff and then was like, there's one guy that uh, I think it was in Oklahoma 
he got them to make him a bunch of expensive food and then was like, I don't want it. That's funny. And you know that pissed them off yeah. so bad. And that's I think really that's funny. what started, that's what created a, like, uh, I think they, like, he ruined changed it for everyone the, else. Yeah, he ruined it for everyone else, and then yeah. they changed the law. Here's what so you do. You order something that you're... checklist. Order yeah. something you're deathly allergic to, uh-huh. then they don't even get the satisfaction <laughs> of get, pulling the fucking thing. I just get a bowl of penicillin? Peanut yeah. butter, <laughs> yeah. shellfish. Can I have a bunch of cat dander? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and grass. Yeah. Because you just mix that all a up steak, in a steak dry-aged in cat dander <laughs> with a glass of penicillin. That sounds so fucking good. That yeah. does sound good, actually. A steak in cat dander? I don't even know what cat... That's skin. That's dead skin for yeah. yeah, that and would then, taste pretty good. And then good. birch pollen ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> With some dust mites. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh A my dust God. mite boil. I mean, can I have poison ivy soup <laughs> <laughs> as well? <laughs> but that would be good because then, you know, the psycho pulls the trigger on the chair. Uh-huh. He is going to lose out on all, you know, yeah. he's got to wait they like 10 blast more the years. chair into space. Yeah, they get rid of the chair. They should no, be doing... No, but they're like with the person on it. Yeah. That's oh, how they should kill oh, them. Okay. Yeah, just I, shoot it I don't, up like a missile. I thought you were it being It kind of sucks that there's no... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I thought you were being against it. I didn't know you were no, so no, pro. I'm pro no, I'm pro death row. I'm pro death row. It's cool that we get to kill people <laughs> and like half of them are on accident. Yeah. That's cool to me. Yeah. It sucks when you hear the stories about like the guys that uh, get injected and then it doesn't take. And then they're just kind of sitting there. And I just like, pretend. Just oh! Don't even go. Oh, just go. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm bugging. Yeah, and pretend then pretend to die. I don't yeah. know if you've seen Kill Bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. For let's go to prison is the better one. I mean, that's the better situation. Well, be you in. fucking eat shit. No, they both get injected with the stuff that makes you like. I never uh, seen the end of that movie. Oh, I've only seen the little first thirty so minutes nice spoiler, on Comedy bro. Central. Yeah, really? they die. What happens? What happens? Well, they get they both get injected. Wait, they're on death row in that movie? No, they they um, Lashitsky and the other guy, I forget his name, get into a fight in the prison yard, and then they both inject each other with um, something that the prison drug sommelier makes. Uh-huh. That makes you uh, like show up as dead, but then you wake up hours later. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo yeah, and they, Juliet. so they both stab each other with that, and then uh, uh, Will Arnett's boyfriend digs them out of the grave, Wait. and you then they seen become. That. What? See, I know that from the first. Yeah. Wait, what? And then they he become. Uh, what do they? Oh, they become uh, prison wine sommeliers in Napa Valley, <laughs> and Tim and Eric drink the wine at the end. Wow! Because it was directed by Bob Odenkirk. Wow. And he, he called in a favor. And they're they're both at the end and they drink the wine. Can you come act go, in this comedy movie as a favor? <laughs> yeah. To the two comedians? Yeah. <laughs> well they are they they are a cameo appearance. That is true. They're cameo artists. Yeah. More so than Yeah, cameo you know, is a favor most of the time. I would if you had to go one of the big four execution styles, what are you going? You got the chair, you got the firing squad, you got the beheading. And you have... Oh, guillotine. Uh, oh, I would be the you, person to request hanging. guillotine. No lethal injection? No. Oh, I guess lethal injection as well, yeah. Guillotine because of because uh, I'm a big Alice Cooper fan. At the the is, is firing squad is by far yeah, the that's coolest. how Alice Cooper died. The firing squad would hurt so... Who gives a fuck? fuck it. The thing you is, get to smoke a yeah, cigarette. what if you don't die? You cool get to smoke a cigarette. What if whatever? you don't die with any of them? You, yeah. Wait, what do you mean you don't die? You get shot well, you get, a thousand you get times? Shot. No, no. Firing squad is they... they Like, three of them are... Like, isn't that always the case where it's like mo- most of them are blank except for one, so no one knows who did it? I don't, I don't know. know. Is that, that just is that like, just Twilight? I, I think I would some... know if I shot the guy if yeah. I was aiming at his head. Well, even then, that doesn't work because it's like all of you think you shot him. Uh, every yeah. single one of you are like, "Oh, it, it was my bullet." Yeah, maybe that was just Twilight Zone. It's, just, it's to stop people from bragging. I think. Yeah. More so than it is to alleviate the guilt. What are you guys looking at? Oh, there's just a man drinking. The guy wants to have his his little treat. It's okay to fucking drink. I thought it was Dan. I thought we were getting another. I thought he was drinking wine. Uh, wine. Another. But it was just a long necked seltzer bottle. It looked like. That's perfectly okay. It's, I know it's fine. If it was gonna be wine, it was gonna be cool. When are we gonna have the forty ounce white claws or the forty ounce truly hard seltzers mm-hmm. or the forty yeah. ounce twisted teas? Where are those? Where are they? Yeah. Where are they? Because I'd have one of those. Well, right aren't now. you? Don't don't they have to be malted? be in the 40 well how about a keg okay <laughs> i used it just been logically excuse me i used a keg this weekend for, for the what? first time ever in my life i realized we were with you this weekend when did you use a keg? oh what uh the night that i got back i uh the skate you shop went to a keg the skate shop that i that i'd like to go into <laughs> is closing yeah back from atlantic city where you got so drunk that you got tased and then you went i'm gonna get i'm gonna hit the kegger 
Well, they were closing. They were closing that shop for Every a while. Every day. That's what uh, Not even permanent? A while? <laughs> well, hopefully they'll find <laughs> a new the next spot. Morning, hopefully bro. they'll find a new spot. <laughs> They're but closing that's where, for the night. I, that's so where like, the first shop party. I went to when I like moved here. So I was like, oh, I'll go to the going away. I know some of the like employees. That's what sucks yeah, so, so bad about living in a city is that there's something every fucking night. I know. And then there's not... You can't just... Well, you can. That's what I do all the time. Just don't go to anything. Yeah. But you then you feel like you didn't get to go to the closing. It's just called show. FOMO. Well, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is called that. Yeah. But I have very little of the FOMO. I actually have, when I go out to stuff, I have the fear of fear of missing out on sitting down at my house. Yeah. Where I'm out and I'm like, oh, I could have been God, watching a movie. I could have actually been just sitting at my house right now looking at the different chips in my pantry yeah. and deciding that I don't want any. Well, of if them. you stay home, you also have the option of get. well, either way, you have the option of getting more chips. I guess that's true. Yeah. But they don't have the same selection no. at stores that I have I in my I went pantry. to this bar uh, with Gus when he was in town, and the bar was selling these Irish chips called Tato's, and I had a Tato for the first time. How was those it? Are, those are a great chip. A Tato? Yeah, T-A-Y-T-O. I'm sick of the Zaps potato chips being the only option at yep. these bars, these mm-hmm. damn stupid-ass bars. The Voodoo Eye or whatever. Dude, it's a fucking all dressed chip. Yeah, but it's not even as good as a normal. You know what dress. it is? It's you too had, crunchy. You had too many of them. I uh, thought that was like the main chip that everyone was always talking about. You guys too, moved on. You don't like it anymore. It's too, I have you had too many. We have, we, have, we have voodoo fatigue. I have voodoo fatigue. I can't yeah. believe this. this in front for of the my second eyes. time in my life, mm. I have voodoo fatigue. You guys yeah. are falling for the. Well, I haven't had them in a while, so capitalism. I think I could have them now. I'm fine to fall for capitalism. Yeah. I'll fall in love with capitalism, and I actually have been back onto a crunchy Cheeto grind. Oh, I hate Cheetos. Shut up. Why? You I'm like just voicing my opinion. What part of it do you not like? I don't like the dusty finger. I don't like that's the texture that much. I think I'll have. I don't them, like a dusty finger. I'll have them I once in a blue a moon. Finger. I'll have them once in a blue moon. Once with a blue moon. Once with yeah. a blue moon. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the orange slice I'm putting on the uh-huh. Cheeto. <laughs> the <garnish>. on the <laughs> <side. Yeah. laughs> putting a whole <laughs> Cheeto in a blue moon. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. No, but I don't. I don't like. Uh, do you? Okay. I don't like anything that's too powdery crunchy or puff oh i hate the crunchy ones but i like the puffs oh the puffs God. i don't like the way the puffs stick into your teeth i like yeah, to just too. push them onto my teeth yeah that's what? weird yeah you just, what does that mean you just take He's it you weirdo. just push it oh like teeth that and it just becomes yeah. just flat i really liked takis though that was kind of an exception but that i also have i have taki fatigue and every yeah, time i, I look at them well. i think about the time that i got well that week that i was taking prilosec Mm-hmm. And I had an allergic reaction, mm. and it makes me th- uh, think about how I was still getting heartburn, and I was getting hives, and I was eating takis. That's it. Well, the fact that you were I was trying still, to, you were medicated for heartburn. I wasn't medicated. This was OTC. Still, okay, that's medicine. It's medicine, though. The fact that but you, were, I, I mean, you were, I thought you meant prescribed. You were eating medicine for heartburn, and you still were. Like, I was going to hit the takis. I was a lot. That's crazy. Uh, worse with my diet habits back then what are you eating now i don't eat that many chips anymore I'm trying to think of what i, I eat chips eat. probably candy is kind of out months. of the rotation i've had a now. massive chip wow. candy no candy completely i've i i've uh relapsed before i relapsed on gummy worms a couple months ago <laughs> <laughs> but i i'm completely trying to get rid of candy for my diet that's wow. smart. Yeah, I don't think candy is a ice cream though. Favorite. That's a that's a good ice cream's pretty good. Once every three months, get a get a Van Leeuwen pistachio. Oh God, man! I had an ice cream sandwich the other day. I the, wanted to have an ice cream cookie and then chip I had a witch. Twitch. Which yeah, chip witch is but they didn't have it at the sandwich. store. It was a that chip witch. For. It was a chip okay. witch ice cream sandwich. Yeah, you don't call it a chip. That's a chip witch. Okay, so the ice cream sandwich in my mind immediately yeah, it's the rectangle. Yeah, it's right, the so rectangle. when you get a fucking uh, a corned beef sandwich on rye, you call it a rye witch. A corned beef. I call it a rye Reuben. witch. Wow. If it's a Reuben. Well, that's smart actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty wise. Yeah, I guess there is a different. It is a Reuben. I had a chip, which was really good, and then two days later, I had a frozen ice cream Twix You had bar. the Twix on the and way to AC. It had a disgusting big boogers in it. it I love so the good. big boogers, dude. They were really good. The Snickers ice cream, too. Yeah. I had one of those a couple months ago. I really liked it. I hadn't had one in probably 10 years, those yeah. frozen candy bars. Snickers ice cream is so good. I was like, Atlantic City, yeah. Yeah, this is a weekend of, I'm gonna go this is a weekend of pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weekend of pleasure. I want to eat a Twix ice cream. It is. That is what it's supposed to be when you go as a pleasure pleasurable weekend mm-hmm. so starting it off with ice cream i had a lot of i knew you were gonna get crazy 
Yeah. We had a lot of. I had a lot of. My stomach was already kind of upset. Yeah. Going into that trip, and I had a lot of food that didn't help. Yeah. yeah. And the past couple of days, I've been really having troubles, mm-hmm. and I've been taking the. I've been taking poops that have been so horrible. Well, don't take that. Poop. I wish take that Pepto. I've been doing that, and they're still like paper. Yeah. Uh, it's the type where <laughs> I wish. I wish that I. Ins- it could I could be sitting on the couch and have it just appear in the toilet. Yeah. Not because I don't want it to feel it come out of me, mm. but because I just physically don't want to be near that substance. I, I yeah. agree. And I it don't sits want on top it to be of the in water. the room with it. Yeah. <laughs> I had a I played I'm a funny thing on my wife. Take like taking poop like a like saying that as a fecal like meaning fecal transplant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I've been, poop. I've been taking poop. I need to take poop. some poop. I played a funny prank on my wife where I got home and I was all I was like I was like, I, listen, I really have to tell you something. Um, we went, while we were there, we went to Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> and she got all freaked out until I said that, and then she was really mad at me. Actually. <laughs> but then I told her that she was way more beautiful than any of the girls at the mm-hmm. Hooters, and I wish that every girl who worked there was her. <laughs> <laughs> the wings were good, though. I'm going to yeah. be honest. I like the wings. I've never been to Hooters too. before. That was my first time. I'm Honestly, I was too scared. Now I feel like I was being a baby. The yeah. boobs weren't even big. It's not any different. And maybe we had an ugly waitress. <laughs> no. But <laughs> it's not any waitress, different than any. Oh, well, he had, a t- he had <laughs> an interest. We, okay. Well, we didn't have an ugly waitress. <laughs> we, uh, we were also sitting next to it. Like, it was like us. And then like the table next to us was like a group of guys that were like very into Hooters and it was like uh, it was, I was really into Hooters I was there but in those, those get the, the guy during his birthday thing was doing the wing dance with the ladies he was telling them that he's a coward and he, he's too cowardly he's to have sex with them oh that's what yes, that was okay yes it's a different he's from a different he's saying I'm a chicken country. don't even don't try. even try because yeah, I'm, I'm a complete chicken. chicken. I'm, I'm a chicken. I'll, I'm I'll afraid. Stay out. away from me. Yeah. That is, you that ladies was, are wolves. That was funny to see though because I, I don't like I think the kind of general consensus about Hooters now is just like yeah it's just a fucking restaurant. Yeah. Well, and have just you, the you guys know that were there the... were like we're at fucking Hooters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, couldn't I, believe, I, I mean that's what we were doing. We thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they were there they were there to they were there to be debaucherous. To, uh, see us us I mean, five we as were a crew, too. but we, we were, were looking away respectful. though. I don't even know what our waitress was. We were there like. to be respectful. <laughs> <I'll stay>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we will just have We'll have the and we the love, mildest wings you have, and we'll we take love the Barbie three of movie, them, and we love the Barbie movie. Did that we should no, have been that's doing because some. that because saying something like that is gonna is basically trying to entice a girl. Yeah, that's true. We hate the Barbie movie. We don't like the Barbie movie, but we, but, we are foodies. But not, yeah, we're foodies. <laughs> we're just here. For, we're foodies. Yeah, we're, we're the guy from we're, Ratatouille. We're a group of foodies. <laughs> We're a group of foodies on vacation <laughs> to Atlantic City ah. Hooters. And we had to try it once. And we had to try. We didn't realize the that's whole what gimmick. that's what you gotta say. That's the you gotta say, gotta try it once, right? Yeah. That's what you say to the so yeah. that she knows it's your first time there. Yeah. And you're not a creep who's coming there all the time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Have you seen there's this guy on a online he like his whole Instagram page is him just taking selfies with Hooter waitresses. I think so. That's He's chill. like a guy, like a retired guy that just goes there all the time now. He goes to every yeah. single one of them. If you were a girl, would you so work awesome. at Hooters? Probably. My life would be shit if I was a girl. <laughs> well, I guess you think about, about it. If you, would, <laughs> if you worked at Hooters, you... <laughs> I just know I'd have a terrible. If life you worked at Hooters, you'd get, you'd get yeah, to have. Of course, I work at Hooters. <laughs> probably fucking addicted to drugs. Yeah, and all probably. Sorts of my shit. Life you get to sucks. have an all-female workplace. That's yeah, true. That is true, except for the chefs. Yeah, but you're not talking that anyway. Saw, yeah. Wait, are the chefs naked? The chefs are all male, is what I saw. With They're big all balls. Male chefs. <laughs> Balls. Yeah. They all have, you don't see it because the bar, but the yeah. chefs back there all have like really short shorts with their balls hanging out on either side. Yeah. That's a good idea. And the back, the, it's empty because the girls don't know about it, but that's for yeah. the girls. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of balls on the side. Girls love balls. They yeah. love them. Big yeah. balls. I ever, I, there was this one time during like, uh, like 2020, I got a text because some Hooters waitress gave out like my number. Some Hooters waitress gave out. That's got to be a first time. <laughs> or put out, I mean. Oh, that's. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did mess up. Yeah. I messed up. But I well, got he a... messed up. He didn't set me up right. No. He said the wrong thing. <laughs> there was a, a Hooters uh, waitress gave out my number. 
Wait. And, uh, what does that even mean? Yeah, what does that mean? She just gave out she, a fake. Hey, why'd she have she it? She gave out a fake. It was a Hooters waitress in Kentucky. Oh. I've never been to Kentucky. Okay, but you've texted her before on uh, WhatsApp. No, no, because she gave out my number. She just gave out a, a random number. And then this guy, uh, Darius, said, hey, this is Darius from earlier at Hooters. And I said, what's up? And he said, playing spades right now with friends. How was your work day, beautiful? Not doing d- too good. My dog <laughs> ate a whole cake off the counter while I was gone. <laughs> I sent this. I looked up like sleeping dog uh-huh. on Google Images and sent this photo of sleeping dog. And then, and then he went like, I got to find the rest of the text. But he was like, oh, damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why didn't you uh, establish a full relationship with him and and? Uh, oh, I also sent a picture of a cake on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog? Do what you What kind have? of dog do you have again? You said I never said. I don't think she said anything about a dog. I said, "Oh, he's sleeping now," and he said, "He's cute." <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't try to get he was determined. Yeah, he was very stuff determined. Stuff on him or anything? You didn't try to blackmail this no, guy? No, I wasn't going to blackmail him. Of his ass I just something. told them my dog ate a whole cake off the counter <laughs> and fell asleep on my CDs. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah, I guess it worked. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys want to do this uh, motherfucking yeah. shit? So basically, if you if you travel yeah. back in time to when I we were talking that. about the death row and that type of thing, yeah. The now then there will be a perfect segue. Uh, so today we're talking about what? His, I flicked his nipple and it got hard. <laughs> Didn't get hard. Look, I can see the imprint. <laughs> Oh my god! It's not hard. Feel it. It's not hard. Feel it. I flicked it and it's hard. Feel it. Feel it, it looks it. really hard. It's not it's hard. hard. It's it, not j- hard it got hard as soon as my finger touched. <laughs> it Stop. Did. Get those off. Why? Don't we even can't show. That. We can't We're on, on YouTube. YouTube. I can't, we can't show that with my nipples. Oh, now I'm just looking at you doing this. Why? You should be. You're you gay, should be man. sent to the police. To do what? To do this? Hey, and guys. We're, and today we're looking at the police. Yep. Mm-hmm. And um, we're looking at what makes the police officers tick. Yeah, we went to the police. I know it makes forums. them ticked off. Uh, yeah. Rap music. Yep. My research. <laughs> <laughs> and we're uh, we're backing this episode up, so I hope nothing happened. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Don't. This isn't coasting off anything. If something happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about this is backing this a few this weeks ago. Up. This is a pretty dangerous one to back up. Just really want to make that clear. <laughs> Again, hope, God willing, nothing happens. But yeah. you know these cops, they're wily. And they're always they're looking wily. to do something. Okay, so you're going to... Whatever happens, you will describe... You will have described as wily. Mm. They're always looking to make us look bad. Is the yeah, big, that the is the main true. That's problem. True. Yeah. The main bad thing. Um, so I looked at uh, this website that I, I think maybe you guys did too. It's, yeah. it's officer.com. Of it was like the one yeah. big police force. There was so much stuff here. <sighs> yeah, it's, there's a Excuse whole me. lot of stuff. Uh, and this is, uh, I found just a few posts on, on officer.com. Mm-hmm. And I'll start off now. Are there any nerdy slash geeky <laughs> cops here? <laughs> maybe this is more likely among younger cops, but are any of you verified officers, fans of the following? Anime slash manga i.e. Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball, etc., sci-fi or fantasy, i.e. Star Wars, Harry Potter, etc., superheroes, i.e. Marvel or DC. I'm pretty much a fan of the above as I have yet to get to that, but I'm curious if there are cops with such interests. Anyone? A geeky cop? Yeah, and there's a few. So Someone said, I listen to the BBC and NPR shows. I have, <laughs> I have rickrolled someone, and I enjoy lolcats and other internet fads. YTMND.com for the win. Woot! MST3K is my most favorite show in the history of TV. You get the idea. Wait, I like, this I like was the idea. Was it in like 2019? <laughs> yeah. No, no, this is old. Uh, oh, the things that he joined in yeah. 2018. I was uh, like, damn, I like, what the fuck? I like the idea that he Rick rolled someone he pulled over. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this can you imagine? Excuse me, sir. We actually have you on camera. <laughs> that would be good. Can you? What a world back when it used to mean that you were a geek if you liked Rickroll yeah, and true. Lolcats. Yeah, nowadays that basically makes you a normie. That I makes know. you an old fart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I an mean, old I head. Still like yeah. Him. It wow. makes you, it makes you basically, you're like the guy who dresses up like it's the 50s and smokes yeah. a pipe. Yeah. yeah. That's what the is type the of, equivalent of the Rickroll these days? Is there one? I guess it's that website 
that like San Francisco news website that shows oh, you yeah. the picture of that guy with the big black penis. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, where mm. it's like that was going around where it's like Dr. Fauci exposed and then you yeah. click on the link. There's and definitely then it's videos that. that people do. I'm trying to think of one. I definitely there's definitely video memes. There's yes, gnomed, there's, where I mean, it I switches into something. That. There's yeah. gnomed. You just got gnomed. What's I that? don't know that. See, I'm too old. I'm an old fart. Is that a yeah. Tumblr one? I remember that was an the old Rick one. Roll. That was an old Tumblr one from oh, like 2018. What is the gnome? It's just a video that says you got gnomed, and that's the gnome going. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Man? It's a gnome. I don't remember. Yeah, I know what a gnome is. <laughs> it's a laughing gnome. Being a dick to me, but I'm not. All right, here's another. Is. Here's another nerdy officer. The open nerdiness among a good amount of the officers at my old jail was one of the only <laughs> redeeming factors of that job. I fit in well, as I love Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Disney movies, Terminator, etc. I like a lot of the Marvel and DC stuff too, but I'm not as big a fan as some people are. From about 0200 to 0500 one night, I and about 10 other officers had a serious discussion as to if the jail were Hogwarts, <laughs> which oh officer would be God. which Harry Potter character. <laughs> Many a night was dedicated to speculating the outcome of the newest Star Wars movies and the analysis of the older ones, or whether a Jedi or Harry Potter world wizard would win in a fight, etc. None of us were virgins that either. That is Smiley so face. funny. Slytherin, I wrote several. Slytherin. I wrote. S- <laughs> Slytherin, Slytherin, yeah. Slytherin, Slytherin, Slytherin. I wrote several fan fiction stories for the Prince of Persia: Sands of Time video game series. I can quote Holy Grail pretty much in its entirety. On that note, my family and I can have a dinner conversation almost entirely of movie and TV quotes. Wow, this is. D- 11 guys that work at a jail. <laughs> Can you imagine you're in jail? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to sleep. <laughs> you're in the drunk tank. <laughs> what? And you're like, so, okay, we a all A wizard know. would definitely wi- not he win against so a Jedi. He's so Hufflepuff. Yeah. He's so Hufflepuff. He's so Hufflepuff. <laughs> no, dude, he's got to be. Uh, no, dude, uh, that yeah. rapist we just picked up is so Slytherin. This guy, uh, <laughs> Slytherin coming through. <laughs> we got a Slytherin coming through. <laughs> yeah. Picked up a Slytherin. Crucio. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to torture the- <laughs> Well, let's just try it one time. <laughs> yeah. oh, I wish I could have a Vada Kedavra, the guy that just walked in. Put... Put it down, or I will avada kedavra you. Because <laughs> it's it's one thing to get pulled over by a cop who's a nerd. Yeah. Because you're not also probably not going to hear it unless you're wearing like a Doctor Who shirt, and they're yes. like, "You're a fan too, my friend." Mm. You, I wonder and you get if off the ticket, have... but if you're in jail, you have no recourse. Yeah. And you have to listen to them talk. Right. I feel like there it are a lot of ultimate torture. Yeah. I feel like there probably are a lot of nerdy cops. This thread was, I mean, there. this also was one of many threads or like any nerds out there. Like yeah. I feel like it's I think that the culture has changed where back in the day it was only people who wanted to crack heads. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crack heads of crack heads. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. And now now you people might be are able, growing up and they have soft parents you that might make be them able into to nerds. Get, uh, you might be able to get away with, you know how like, oh, if you're a girl, you cry or something. Maybe if you're a guy, <laughs> you always keep like a, a some kind of uh, nerdist style t-shirt. Or you have a, in you a have a, um, just you have wrong. an ID that just says the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> 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 you give it to one of these cops and then they go, oh, you know, say, yeah, you, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Mm-hmm. And there yeah, it is. it's crazy too that people. I think a lot of these people, these cops too, they live a full young adult life as a nerd, and mm-hmm. then like in their late twenties, they're like, "Fuck it, yeah. okay, let's I'm kill gonna people. Be, I'm going to become a cop. Why yeah. not? It's time. I got nothing else to do." Might I do think well. it's kind of an end of, end of your rope style job. If it is. That's what. That's I saw yeah. a lot of this stuff yeah. on here. People like, yeah, they'd be like. Yeah, they're 30, and they're like, well, I tried everything else. Yeah. My wife said I can't do it, but I'm doing it anyway. I saw one guy who's like, I've had 12 jobs. I got discharged from the military. <laughs> I've had 12 jobs, and my credit score is 550. <laughs> the longest I've ever been at a job is four months. Do you think I could get a job as a cop? And every single response was like, yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, here's another post on here. Tactical tickling, and it's a link to a video. Good day, all. Could this video be for real? Do police use this Tickle Me Elmo style to get bad people to submit to get cuffs on them? And then (laughs) here's the link if you go to the next one. Um, It says, tactical tip, Tickle Me Elmo. Don Gula demonstrates a technique you can use to win against an opponent with a high pain tolerance. It may sound goofy, but the Tickle Me Elmo is a trick worth considering when pain compliance isn't working. Oh, my God. And then in the next slide, I put the video on. It's like a one-minute video, and you can just click play on it, I think. (laughs) <laughs> okay we're seeing a lot of tactical photos yeah, tactical yeah. tip the video friendly tickle me elmo <laughs> with don gula hi i'm sergeant don gula founder of wrestling <laughs> so here we are again we have a suspect on the ground the interesting thing that i found no way. training thousands of recruits <laughs> that sometimes the people that have the highest pain tolerance they have another secret behind the door 
what you don't realize. <laughs> because I can use all the pain compliance to, to try to get his arms out, but he can resist it for a long period of time. Well, here's one thing to try. <laughs> it's very video friendly, but it's very, very effective. So if I'm down here, it's and let's very that video I'm friendly. To try to get saying body cam. Body cam yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I step out. It's not working. We're trying something maybe with the legs. <laughs> I will whisper down to them and I will say, are you tickling? <laughs> Right? And it's surprising that the people with the highest pain tolerance, so be prepared for them to squirm. But tickles, we call this tickle me Elmo. And all you're going to do is you're going to go to the lower rib area, and you're just going to tickle a little bit, but be prepared. Right? Bring your hands out. Bring your hands behind your back. Right? And then get a control position. Uh, it's cheating, but you know what? I thought that this when was a fake it, video, you know but it it's works. fully real. It's yeah. Oh I, this my was just on their fucking website. Fucking God. <laughs> You get a good laugh. That's fucking right, crazy, man. Are you ticklish? <laughs> Cop asking you, are you ticklish? Is that's oh my god. Uh, yeah, that my has to break like god. a Geneva Convention. People were not or happy that's about this. People were really? not like this. Yeah, this is the I kind of, this it. is the main sentiment here. Is, that's uh, the funny thing. Uh, next <laughs> innovation, the tactical hand job. And someone says, since 2020 is bizarre world already, I don't find this outside the realm of possibility. Are you horny? <laughs> are you gay? The next step from tickling is giving someone a hand Do you job. Think I'm cute? <laughs> the most disturbing movies ever. Yeah. So this next one, this next post is 15 of the most disturbing films ever made. I'm happy to report I've only seen two of these, and both are classics in my view: Clockwork Orange, although the book was better, and Brazil. The others are focused on topics that don't interest me in the least, so I wouldn't have seen them. Who on earth would go see Human Centipede? To me, no such list could be complete without Eraserhead, 1976 American surrealist film written, directed, and produced by David Lynch. That's the most fu ampersand carrot movie I have ever seen. I also think There Will Be Blood <laughs> could be added. <laughs> that w What the hell was that movie about again? 15 of the most disturbing films ever made. What say you? So this, this is basically all cops who have very... Uh, these are the people who are, you know, going out. Yes. So trying to help. They're going into alleys. They're seeing mm -hmm. the Breaking Bad houses with yeah, the people exactly. crushing themselves with ATMs. Yeah, this, and and this is like, what they... These are the movies that are too much for them. I'm okay, scared here's of Donnie some, Darko. Yeah, here's some movies. Uh, the Crow had some scenes that were pretty hard to take, let alone the fact that Brandon Lee was killed during the filming. Which the Crow is really funny because I don't yeah. know if you guys have seen the Crow, but it's just it's like a sad goth movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, but he did die. It can never rain all the time. He did it's die that. though. He did die. That's true. So that's a little scary. Donnie Darko was pretty messed up too. They're fucking right. Yeah, <laughs> scary movie. Uh, someone says. I agree with paranormal activity. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up. That cops agree with that. Yeah. They agree with they agree with, they agree yeah, with that's paranormal, paranormal activity. activity. Uh, someone says Hellraiser with the tearing of the flesh scenes, <laughs> uh, and then someone says another one is Taxi Driver. <laughs> Here's a sample, probably not appropriate for work. <laughs> and that's a YouTube link to Taxi Driver. You talking me? Oh my it's god! It's funny that when they say not appropriate for work, they do mean at the police station. Yeah, yeah. you know exactly what kind of work. But these are the doing. things that are terrifying them to a yeah. cop. Travis Bickle. Travis Bickle's probably probably Hell is the Razor. scariest thing of all time as to a cop. Oh, absolutely. A guy who's weird that they, have, they I would, would have say, to talk to. I would say that would be a disqualifying movie if you've seen it. If you're applying to be a police officer, you should yeah. not have ever seen this movie. Yeah, it'll give you a different perspective of guys. Mm -hmm. um, and then this next section, this one I'm excited about. I found a bunch of gamer tags. <laughs> These are a bunch of people's gamer tags and PSN usernames. Uh, Lieutenant Trigger is my gamer tag on <laughs> Xbox Live. Ranger Danger 415 on PSN. Misanthropy 22. That's on PSN. badass. Mine is Born to Kill 5. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly Jester 69 on Xbox Live for those of you that think they are good. My Xbox Live gamer tag is Gringe. <laughs> <laughs> gamer tag, I heart 12 gauge. Uh, Tepai Man. My Xbox Live name is Prowl911. <laughs> I really like LT My, Trigger. Just wait, you, the okay. good ones are coming up. My gamer tag is the Happy Fish. <laughs> And the last one's my favorite. PS3, Modern Warfare 2, username <laughs> Silly34. <laughs> I really like LT Trigger because I, I didn't read it as Lieutenant Trigger yeah, immediately. It could be left Trigger. I read, it, yeah. I read it as like ATM machine, like, like left yeah. Trigger <laughs> Trigger. <laughs> yeah. Um, so those are, if you want to play games I will with any cops, yeah, 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 everyone can play add the all these. Yeah. Uh, and then the next section is that they played a little game on the forum called Corrupt a Wish. I don't know if you guys have seen, I've seen this game on some other I've forums never heard too. Of this. 
um, when looking for other stuff. So here's how it works. Anybody up for a game of corrupt a wish? The rules are simple. One person makes a wish, then the next person grants it in a humorous way so that the first person gets something completely different from what they wanted and might even end up worse off before they made the wish. So this is really fun because uh, a lot of the wishes that these cops make are pretty interesting. And also, I don't know if maybe the thread started moving too fast or if these guys are really dumb or don't understand how the game works. But some of the things that they <laughs> use to corrupt the other people's wishes are interesting choices. Okay. okay. Let's so we'll, let's just start it off. Uh, I wish Americans weren't so ignorant and self-centered. <laughs> Granted, but this country is now under Sharia law and run by Muslims. So a lot of it is like this. Yeah. Sounds pretty good to me. But then here's some other ones I saw. I wish I had a 1964 Chevrolet Impala convertible. Granted, but you caught an incurable virus and must live in a bubble inside a lockdown biohazard chamber unit until spring. Well, spring's when you want to take the convertible out. <laughs> yeah, I That's, guess. This is the yeah, best wish fine. ever. Yeah. You need to skip the winter? Yeah. Uh, I wish it wasn't so damn cold out. Granted, but now you're stalked by a rapist gorilla that escaped from the Congo. <laughs> it escaped from the Congo. Yeah, it escaped, where it was, it so escaped this is, from the Congo. Yeah, I don't know if these guys understand the game. Uh, Did he mean cargo? So well. No, he uh, means Congo. Here's another one. Here's some a good wish. I wish I had ham in my fridge for lunch. <laughs> okay. Uh, granted, but your car is buried in 20 feet of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Just the car. <laughs> uh, I wish I wasn't ugly. Oh. Granted, you received a letter bomb in the mail. Now you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is my favorite one. I wish my Christmas shopping was done. Granted, you are now three inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one, the person really didn't understand the game at all. I wish I was having pizza tonight and someone just said, granted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's show them how to really play corrupt yeah. wish. Yeah. I wish that I was a pebble. Granted, but your name is Fart Fart Pebble. Fart the Pebble. Okay, see, that's a perfect example of how to play this game. For I think real. that uh, what happened, I read on some, I think a lot of people are really slow typers yeah. who are cops and they oh. saw something. And it maybe took them 20, 30 minutes to type oh, out I see. their thing. And I they see. accidentally responded to something else. Oh, oh that makes it. sense. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, this first one here, uh, well, I tried to sign up for the website, I think, is the first one. Click okay. next. Um, yeah, an officer <laughs> do was already in use. <laughs> or it does not meet administrator standards. I don't know which <laughs> you one. you are officer do <laughs> and you have forgotten your password. I'm kind of, I'm hoping... It's in use, and uh -huh. I'm hoping that Officer Do is allowed. Yeah. I'm hoping that that's not the case. That would be but, fucked up. Um, I couldn't allowed. use Officer That'd be Do. You'd have to have a crazy censorship built in if you're censoring Do. do. Yeah. yeah. Well, my username was Seaman, C01. Uh, really? Next slide. Mine was RT Polanski. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this first one, <laughs> this was who wants some poop cake. <laughs> It's a picture of a poop cake. It's a picture of a poop it cake, but there was like, really like poop. there was a story attached to it, but the story wasn't as uh, interesting as it was like an actual like them yeah. discussing like uh, the punishment for these teenagers who put poop in a cake and fed it to a student. Whoa! Um, and they made it look like that, and the guy didn't know. No, this was a, a image that he found online. Oh, okay. Uh, this next slide. Uh, this is an officer that had a question. Uh, spelling question mark. First off, thank you all to post here. You are helping me greatly. I would love to be a police officer, but I have concerns about my spelling. I'm not horrible, but not spelling bee material. <laughs> my question is, is spelling something <laughs> I should really worry about? Which every single officer replied, yes. Uh, if you screw up the paperwork, they're going to send it back to you. Uh, I just really scary. liked, I'm not spelling yeah, bee not material. Spelling. You can also tell that this was done voice to text. Yeah. Yeah. Because it capitalized B. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next slide. Uh, Cops and hardcore. All right, just a little poll. How many people out there listen to hardcore? Madball, hate Bree, hoods, death before dishonor, bleeding trough, powerhouse, all bets bleeding off. Bleeding trough. <laughs> bleeding, oh, bleeding, bleeding through. through. I didn't read. Well, you have pigs on the brain today. <laughs> I do. You do have pigs on the brain. Well, it's because we're doing the cop episode. Yo. Come on. Come on. Play that song. <laughs> okay. If you do. Uh, where are you from and who's your favorite band and what's your favorite song? I do. My favorite band is Himza or Death Before Dishonor. Swag. And the first reply to this, uh, 
I am from Jersey, and I listen to Disturbed, Corn, Metallica, and System of a Down, Led Zeppelin, Godsmack, Ozzy, etc. Not yes. hardcore bands. And there was a guy, the same, the OP was in it, like, not to be nitpicky, <laughs> <laughs> but these are not hardcore bands. Because <laughs> a lot of the responses were like this next one, uh, which is yeah. from a member of the Coast Guard. <laughs> Who said, I like Disturbed, Mudvayne, Nonpoint, Seven Dust, Shine Down, Cold, Audio Slave, and yes, Coldplay. See, uh, yeah, the thing here is that these guys all think that hardcore is just an adjective that yes. means crazy. Yes. Yeah, it's not, a, they don't think of it as a Do you genre. like music that's crazy? Yeah, but then this next cop uh, knew about it and uh, he said, Anyone here like stuff like Death Threat, Embrace Today, <laughs> X Cherish X, Earth Crisis, Scare Tactic? Anyone? I used to be straight edge, so I like a lot of the straight edge hardcore. I disassociated myself once it started to be known nationwide as a gang. <laughs> I wanted to be clean and sober for myself and not the media. And not for anyone who did it for the wrong reasons. Anyone on this form have roots in straight edge or 80s hardcore? I know there's got to be at least one cop that remembers calling Henry Rollins his idol and was up front screaming into the mic at one of the shows between L.A. and New York. There's got to be someone. This is the scariest cop in the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a, a cop who likes terrifying. Earth Crisis, this, yeah. but then was like... Nah. Yeah, 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 someone who's into Earth Crisis. They're a gang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. a fucking gang, and also, I I am a straight-edge guy who wants to become a cop. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I don't want to be part of a of a gang. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to become a cop. <laughs> liking that, liking Earth Crisis because of the music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. Just the music. Uh, next slide. Yeah, uh, I hate the message. <laughs> From Georgia Boy, rap music. How do you guys feel about rap music? I loved it, but my lieutenant in the academy hated it. Next slide. NSW cop said, yeah, rap. The music without the silent C in front. Damn. In the words of Chris Rock, <laughs> turn that <laughs> shit off. <laughs> There's nothing like listening to some drug-addled idiot extolling the virtues, of sexu- the virtues of sexual assault, domestic violence, murder, and drug addiction and calling it music. Thanks, America. Where is he from? <laughs> What's NSW? Uh, New South Wales, I believe. <laughs> oh, really? Right? Yeah, that's so, so funny to be a cop from Wales and being like... <laughs> it's Australia. I think. Oh, oh. Yeah. I thought it was Welsh. New, New no. South, New New South okay. Wales is a, yeah. is a section of Australia. Yeah. Well, I don't know geography. That's a perfectly okay thing it's to okay, be. It's okay, yeah. yeah. You don't have to be... Thanking yeah. America for rap, too, is, is very funny to me. Also, it is funnier that an Australian is... Yeah, an Australian is saying also this Chris Rock quote. Yeah. <laughs> He could have said anyone. Australians love saying a lot of stuff that Chris Rock says. That yeah, is true. That's true. Yeah, really they, true. They fuck with him a lot. They've never seen his specials, but they heard his albums. They really like him. Yeah. Uh, next slide. Uh, this is from Keith758, and he said, the only music that I can't stand is rap and polka. This guy would hate Weird Al. Yeah, he would really he would fucking, fucking despise it's Straight Weird. out of Linwood is not the album no, for you. He would hate the squeeze box that our boy is mm-hmm. putting on. Uh, next slide. Putting polka in is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's listening? Who's like, ah, turn that turn shit that up. polka. I can't stand it. Shit out of All here. All these kids walking around big boombox playing polka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Pull yeah, your who, leader hosen up. Who ha- hears polka enough that they have to dislike it? Yeah. yeah. Who, ca- who cares? It's got to be. It's gotta it has be like to be a weird Polish out. person. Yeah. No, it has to be about weird Al's brother, yeah. Keith, <laughs> Keith Yankovic. <laughs> Normal Keith. Yeah. Uh, this one was just, uh, the threat itself wasn't that funny, but just going on to the cop forum to tell everyone that Travis Barker <laughs> hates the police. <laughs> I think I looked up Blink-182 to like find this. He's covered in oh, tattoos. Oh, one thing that I didn't put in that this just reminded me of, because it was, uh, I just found a thread called Rucka Rucka Ali. Oh, nice. <laughs> and it was just, there, but there was no, it was one guy who was just posting all of Rucka Rucka Ali's YouTube <laughs> videos. It was like That's 10 so pages. Awesome. of just nobody responding. He's keeping it no himself. Caption. It was a playlist. Yeah. 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 Uh, next slide. Uh, weed. Is it possible for a cop to smoke weed when he was young, but eventually stop when he was young and be a cop in the future? I smoke like five times and I stop smoking for good now. Will this hurt me in the long run? It will. It will. It will. Hurt your it brain. It definitely in the will. Long yeah. Run. I yeah. mean, look, you say you're, you have spelling mistakes. You're a weed demon. Yeah. Next slide. Uh, caught my little brother smoking pot. I caught my 15 year old little brother smoking pot twice in the past week, once in the act, and one night I smelled it on him. Before that point, I had no idea that he had ever even been around anyone that smoked. I'm really disappointed. And he's asking what he should do. And this first response was... Arrest him. uh, Take a piece of soap and put it in a towel. I think you can figure out how that's supposed to connect with your brother. (laughs) He he, connect... Problem solved because he won't go crying to parents that he got beat up for smoking pot. <laughs> so beating up, beat up his fifteen year old brother with soap in a towel. Soap in a towel. That's awesome. Also, that is crazy. When I hear soap in a towel, I'm not immediately thinking like 
you know, private pile. Yeah. Like, I'm like thinking showering his brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, Maybe he won't smell like weed anymore. Yeah, clean yeah. him off. Yeah, yeah clean up your brother. His brother needs to clean up his act. That's mm. for sure. Uh, next slide. Uh, forums no place for butt and boobs. Notice a couple avatars that show a bare butt and a set of bouncing boobs. <laughs> now, my wife and I are not prudes, and we enjoy a little adult porn. Adult porn. <laughs> Adult porn. <laughs> that was making me laugh so much because a little if you adult if you if you look up if you go on to like Google and do like the site like Police One or whatever like and then the word porn every single thing on there is like cops asking about like legal loopholes for child porn that they need to like look out for. <laughs> so this one guy said adult porn. Adult porn. <laughs> adult porn to make the distinction. Also, he, he's conflating the two where he's conflating adult movies and porn yes, yeah. and just like putting them together. Adult porn. And calling adult it porn. adult porn, which <laughs> which implies that <laughs> the other option is kitty porn. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't want he doesn't want people to have porn on the on the police forum. Butts and boobs aren't porn. Yeah, butts and boobs. Well, I don't butts, know. butts and boobs are pornographic. They're no, adult pornographic. It's part of the human body. Well, they're but not a even allowed. Bouncing boob. Bouncing boobs and a bare that butts. Are not how many times in your life that happens has when a woman runs when she dances when no. she plays hopscotch? No. When she's on her wedding day. When she's on her wedding day, which is but that's she an bounces on her wedding. You've day? never been to a trampoline wedding. Yeah. Not once. Not once. You have. Say you never been without saying you never. I've been. never been. I just can say it. I've never been to a trampoline wedding where there's a bouncing boob. Okay, dude, you're looking at the bride's boobs. No, I'm not. Why you would are. you say that? I, d- I didn't say that. You guys are saying that all the boobs are bouncing. No, you're saying that they're not, and we're saying that they are. Mm-hmm. But, uh, well, then you're looking too. No, but I'm I have not a looking. You're looking. You're looking. I have I'm a not. detector. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's worse than looking. No, it's not, because I know you, uh, where not to look. Why are you so smart? <laughs> <laughs> Next slide. Uh,. Porn. Hello, I am 17 years old, and in several months, I can apply for the Maryland State Police Cadet Program. For the last several years, I have been addicted to watching porn. I do not watch (laughs) it for hours, though. I watch it for like 10 minutes about three times a week. What will the police selection committee think about it? Can they even find it? Do they look at my internet history? Also, will this stop my chances of getting in? Also, another situation. My friend was over one day, and he jokingly looked up gay porn to piss me off. I thought that that was a different word. <laughs> to jack, to jack yeah. me off. <laughs> what will they think of that? And one officer replied and said, being gay is not against the law, <laughs> plus one. <laughs> uh, next slide. Uh, I think this is the, oh, yeah. Taylor13, who's a macho man, uh, asked, <laughs> trolling the mall? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering if it's illegal to troll a mall, <laughs> by which I mean I say, by which I mean say, my friend wants to gather a bunch of people up to go mess with the mall full of preppy kids that think they're better than everyone. <laughs> he wants to go around calling them disgusting and giving them dirty looks, not causing any bodily harm or anything hands-on. Is this illegal? To which an officer replied, disorderly conduct around here. You will be trespassed and banned. Taylor, you know better. Oh my <laughs> Damn. god! Troll an entire mall. I mean, yeah, that's, that's too, that's that too much. Too far. That's, that's admitting to domestic terrorism. You are a troll. I'm not a troll. You are, and you even know, have enough common decency to know that an entire mall can. That entire yeah. mall is domestic. That's even, that's true, even the mm. master troll. The, the master, master troll, troll says troll. stop. The mall. Call master them off. Troll. Call off the, <laughs> the trolls. The master troll man. says relax. The malls of America are dying. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new T-shirt I'm making. I've been hired by the police station. <laughs> in a, in a, You're part of Dare. <laughs> yeah, I'm part of Dare in a, in a Gruff the Crime Dog <laughs> style thing. It's going to be a, a series of videos troll. of me in a trench coat telling kids not to troll. <laughs> yeah, or just don't troll too hard. If you, you can't pay the toll, don't be a troll. You should do a mass magician thing where you That's show good. I flick off a coin for some reason. <laughs> you should show off the bat, the the behind the scenes uh, how trolls are actually. I wear a troll done. mask, yeah. troll face mask, so that us I, victims of trolls can mm-hmm. understand how these actually happen. Yeah. Especially Iowa 1603. That's his badge number. <laughs> Respect. Uh, next slide. <clears throat> Need firefighter insults and jokes. My brother is a firefighter, and well, since he has been working for a couple years, he has had the upper hand in all the jokes right now against cops. Me. <laughs> so I need to play catch up. Post your best insults, jokes in here. It doesn't matter what they are or if they are PC or any of that crap. I want them all. 
And then somebody replied, and this you can use this on on John's call. Uh, <laughs> so somebody replied and said, "When a civilian, Kelly." <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a top text, bottom text meme. That's yeah. seven. When a civilian, when a civilian, break, Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so go to your brother, <laughs> officer. Go to your brother who's Any a fire fire department. But he says, uh, like he calls all cops gay or whatever. Just go when a civilian, Kelly. And he'll go. Oh no, you bastard! Oh, my friends died in that my fire. My fucking friends died. <laughs> you don't know oh. what we go through. You don't know what you you're saying know what at we all. Fucking go through. <laughs> Yeah, it means something crazy. It means something yeah, really yeah, crazy yeah, to yeah, a fire. Yeah. Yeah. Fire talks to you read again. That. Yeah. yeah, firefighters read that, and it's a whole different thing. It's a completely different language. Yeah. Uh, and this last one here, this was a uh, an officer asking about the Barbie movie. Oh, C C C S D. This guy is all over yeah. this forum. Well, he replied uh, to this officer and said, uh, "It's a total agenda. It's total agenda. Utter garbage. LGBTQ white male bad. Yada yada yada. Go see Oppenheimer. So we know who the cops are." Uh, yeah. What side they're taking? A Barbenheimer. Ken. Ken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the cops are Kens. The cops are on nothing but Kens. Mm. Yeah. God. Yeah. Well, this next cop uh, gave a review of Barbie that okay. I want to read. <laughs> I got roped into taking my wife to see it today. It's 170 degrees. It's 107 <laughs> degrees here. It's 170 degrees. So I wasn't going to do anything outside other than sit in the pool anyway. CCCSD was not wrong. The best part was the habanero margaritas. This movie required several. The theater itself was very nice, too. Theaters have really gotten better in the past few decades. Comfortable, spacious, leatherish power recliners, decent food, and a mostly full bar. I braced myself for the woke agenda. As much as I disagree with the message, it wasn't presented in as offensive as a manner as I was expecting. The most offensive thing to me was the transvestite <laughs> actor playing a female Barbie. I would not take a child to see this movie. Margot Robbie was perfect. <laughs> America Ferrara is always good <laughs> and has lot a, lost a lot of weight since she was younger. Will Ferrell was okay, but not in top form. Rhea Perlman had impressive poise amongst so much silliness. silliness. The rest of the cast was largely dead weight. I think the part I enjoyed the most was the Barbie trivia. So, he didn't even like Gosling. How do you not even shout out Gosling? He said he was dead weight. Dead weight. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so it looks like the officers are maybe not that into Ken. Yeah, okay. I think they're right though. Barbie is not for children. No, I agree. Well, not that Barbie. Not that Barbie. No, no, no. That's more for adults. The rest of that uh, thread was just him listing off Barbie trivia too. It's just him <laughs> do saying, you "Have my slide." Interesting. Here? Did you know that Barbie and Ken are actually named after the creator's daughters? Yeah, that's right. Barbie and Ken are brother and sister. <laughs> you do have them, I know. Um, here's mine. The first thing I found when I like first opened up this forum was this post uh, where becoming a police officer while experiencing a phobia of them. Wow. Where this guy <laughs> talks about how he wants to be a cop really bad, but he can't even think about the police without <laughs> his heart rate <laughs> doubling. <laughs> Holy shit. It was really making me laugh, but he wants to be a cop so bad, but yeah. I thought that, that was a really powerful uh, thing to be doing. Yeah. yeah. Is if you're, imagine you were afraid of... Imagine you wanted to be a spider. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly Going perfect. to spiders.com. Like, hey, so, so I, want, I, I want eight legs, but I don't want to be But I really am scared of spiders. No, he wants to be a cop, though. Why does he but want to be a so cop? he's so afraid of them because he was in the military and he said that it's a level up. Oh, okay. He was in the military and he's afraid of cops. He's com- That's he's insane. De- I think he went overseas to get away from cops. <laughs> oh. That's my theory. Uh, and then I went over to the Protect and Serve subreddit yeah. where I saw this post. Uh any pro police hip hop artists out there? I love the music, but the anti police stuff gets annoying. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Travis Scott since he defended the police in the Michael Brown oh incident and also expressed sympathy for George Zimmerman, the cop. <laughs> but the genre is just so anti police, which sucks because I respect the work you do. I almost joined after college. Rick Ross used to be a, <laughs> a law enforcement officer, but he got shamed into, into denying it and has the same anti law enforcement lyrics these days as everyone else. It's lame since you'd think these guys would be Second Amendment supporters and want protection from getting robbed or worse. Are there any artists you guys listen to without such an anti-police message that I'm missing, or do y'all just tune out those lyrics? So I didn't even catch this. This isn't even a cop. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a guy who doesn't (laughs) like that it's anti-cop. Yeah, this is a pro-cop guy. And then there was a comment here. 
It's pretty hard to find a pro cop rapper. I used to be really into hip hop. Not as much now, but I still listen to some, and I mostly just listen to individual songs that don't talk shit about cops. And some songs with a Z just get a pass, like Insane in the Brain. <laughs> I can't not listen to that song. So I just tune out the anti-cop lines even as I'm singing them. But yeah, if you go by individual songs, there's plenty that don't diss cops. Just don't expect to find a whole album like that. That's uh, fact as fuck. Yeah. That's going to be so sad for cops. Yeah. To mm. Just get into... Somebody said Kendrick Lamar. I didn't even include that. <laughs> like That's Kendrick, so funny. Kendrick Dude, can you imagine if there was a whole genre of music where every song was like, fuck you, yeah. fuck you. Yeah. That would hurt. Fuck you, stupid. That would hurt. Just because you're no, damn... That would be awesome. Well, I guess you're it. right. That would like, be cool. It would be, it would be like being the Joker. Yeah. yeah. You get to be the villain of the song. I saw... Uh, there was another uh, thread that I saw that was just like guys listing off like uh, their favorite pro police songs. Yeah. And like a lot of the guys were saying like... Uh, like there's one guy that said like he he played Seek and Destroy by Metallica over his PA when he was in the ghetto. <laughs> there's like stuff the like ghetto. that. But there's one guy that put that um that Randy Newman song from Little Criminals, uh fucking what's it called? Like Jolly Old Coppers or something like Randy that. Randy Newman had a pro cop song? Well, no, it's like well, you know, it, Randy Newman was a very ironic songwriter. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he doesn't really hate short people. And from he doesn't the same like album. toys much either. Yeah. Well, he loves toys. <laughs> oh, he does. He loves having a friend in toys. No, but he actually hates it. You just said he's it's ironic. ironic. Yeah. He is ironic. I guess. So, wow. And ironic I guess to that's, me means opposite. I guess that's Boyne, Boyne, Boyne in the USA for toys. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> Boyne in the USA for toys. That's crazy. I need yeah. to think about that. Uh, next post here is, I believe, oh, this is from officer.com, where I think a lot of our stuff was yeah. from. Yeah. Uh, and this one is. Who will win? Oh yeah, so that so I I started from just like the earliest thing ever. It's cra- yeah, they have pre nine eleven. Yeah, so that was I wanted to see. Wait, is this about the Iraq War? So no, so that's the interesting thing. I I wanted to start pre nine eleven and and uh, just kind of see where we were because yeah. all the new stuff is all about oh people have the flag on the side of their shirt or whatever and it's yeah. upside down. Is that disrespectful? But I wanted to see what it was like before I really had an awareness of cops way back mm. in the day. And there's a marked difference between pre-9-11 and post-9-11 on this forum. Uh-huh. And I'll show you. So before, this was who will win. And I was like, Geez, I wonder what this is about. Maybe it's about a war. Go next. Who will win? The Kentucky Derby. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, there's a field of 17 horses. I like point given 9-5. to five. Uh, That's from Brooklyn Dave. And then, I was thinking that that would be like, who will win? Cops or robbers? <laughs> <laughs> you know what side they be on. Uh, next, this is also pre-9-11. Now it's Bugs Bunny. While watching Fox News this afternoon, gas prices rising, trouble in Syria, etc. I was knocked to the floor. Not by any of the above, but the unbelievable. Some civil liberties guy was fighting to get 12 Bugs Bunny cartoons removed from the Cartoon Network due to the content being racially biased towards Japanese and African Americans. The guy, don't remember his name, was saying it was his duty to look out for the children's welfare since parents allowed them to watch anything. Hmm, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at a loss here. I love this guy doing, this is crazy too, he's doing 12 and then in parentheses numerals 12. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. the, that, the people who do that, that's shifted completely. Yes, yeah. That's it now, has. yeah, it's, uh, this, some civil liberties guy was fighting to get, um, checks notes 12 <laughs> bugs <laughs> by cartoons. I was knocked to the floor by this. Uh, next. See, this is a different world. Subway sandwiches. Mmm, Subway is so yummy. What is your favorite sandwich? <laughs> this is what the whole forum yeah. was back This is in what the, day. the entire internet used to exactly. be. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and now we're so divided. Next is, is Matrix possible? <laughs> hey there, I wonder that much. Are we sleeping and dreaming, or am I really sitting here and writing officer.com forum? Turk cop. Yep, Turk cop. Next. What color M&M do you like? <laughs> I like red ones <laughs> by user Eminem. <laughs> and their form signature is Eminem, Eminem. Is a red Eminem, also their Abby. Wow. Uh, isn't that amazing? And then I think this is, the, yeah, so this is the first <laughs> post 9-11 post I found. Vampires. Yeah. <laughs> so it's already getting so dark, right? Yeah. What's the post here? Uh, okay, this is a little off the wall. There are a certain segment of kids attracted to the goth style. We have had books and movies about vampires forever, but few of them top Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Buffy. Slayer. Buffy. Buffy. <laughs> Do slash did vampires exist? 
My guess is probably not, but I'm wondering if anyone has any real theories or even facts on how the whole myth, if it is a myth, of vampires got started. <laughs> if it is a myth. Most myths are based on something that did exist. Did you go ideas. further into this thread? Yeah, so it was... Yeah, it's all... I, I yeah, read it you too. Saw this, yeah, yeah. It's, they say the reason, the, the explanation for vampires is because of Atlantis. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really interesting... I just thought the idea of a cop who's wondering if vampires <laughs> <Yeah>. are real... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next again, this is post nine eleven stuff, yeah. so it's it's darker. It's scary. Evil squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> this is evil squirrel. Baby shark born without a daddy <laughs> by Wonder Woman. <laughs> Baby shark born without a daddy. And then I think there's another the kissing band. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. So all of this, it really was a, a full difference. Yeah. After. Yeah. And it's then the difference is clear. I think there's just one more post here, which is what's your IQ? Oh boy, and it's an IQ test. Mine was 137. <laughs> the test takes about 12 minutes. And then there's just one last thing. This reply. Uh, Mine was 23. Smile, <laughs> smile by well, they, Spec they Ops the, Warrior. They took the ACT version of the IC, IQ test. That's actually very high. Uh, that could, I don't yeah. think, is a 23 that high on an ACT? No, it's not. That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was 23 and two big wide smile emojis. That's so, funny. Yeah, yeah. that's all I got in terms of uh, amazing police. Work. This is a great website. Uh, yeah, I this really like this website. website. And it's like... it One of those ones that goes so far back, I too. thought it yeah. was going to be a lot more stuff about like being cops, but even in the cops section, if you go far back enough, it's, yeah, it nobody, really is just a normal forum, and just you know that all the people that are doing it are cops, which makes yeah. it yeah. funny. Yeah, they got they they really they have a like, whole sub forum called Family Matters. Yes, yeah, I went all, on Family yeah. Matters. Yeah, it's all they really people. ramped it all up like later. Like they really, uh, you can just see like the slow rise of them just being like, oh, like we needed like everything on here needs to be about police stuff. I think they kind of like cracked. Down. Yeah, they were moving stuff to new new forums, but the website's yeah. been around since 1996. It's crazy. Yeah, what free water? Free water. Well, that's good. Free news. floor water. Uh, when does this come out? A while. I don't think there's anything. I don't uh, think this is fall. It's around the corner. Yeah. Look out for falling leaves. Yeah. It's yeah, already getting watch, a little if bit If you cooler. get hit on the head, you might get allergic if you're mm. allergic to the color orange, yeah. yellow, or red. Or a dead leaf. Um, I guess uh, stay safe. Yeah. Be careful. What does that mean? It's kind of threatening. I don't know. Can we shout out my new watch channel? Yes, we can do that. No. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. What is it called? Go to it. Show it off. Let's see okay. all the, let's see the incredible branding you've come up with for it. Yeah, I love I, love <laughs> I bet you really did a great job. Yeah. It's uh Palvods two. Okay, it doesn't What the hell? Yep, it's been deleted. You already got banned again. <laughs> <laughs> well I think you have to put the at you have to put the at sign in the after the slash. That is I think disgusting. What it is. Isn't that terrible? I know about this because I have to put it. Oh, there we go. On, like, Podcast about list oh, no. Twitch VODs. Uh, and you have so many amazing videos on here of Julio sitting down. Sitting at his computer. So if wow, you're into that kind up. of shit for some reason and you like his dog shit streams, then you would like <laughs> this channel, I guess. Okay. Yeah. that's. Good. You need to do another live for four months video. That was funny. I liked that. What was live for four what? months? When he did a subathon and he was a live forever. I don't remember that. Like a year ago, that was yeah, funny because he fun. hated it so much. What was it? He does. You know what a subathon is? No. It's where every time somebody donates or subscribes, you add more time to how long you're going to be live. Oh yeah. So he was live for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Nope. Yeah, it was awesome. Do that again. All right. All right. Later. Bye bye. I saw the plane hit the tower and then I knew I had to change. Like Steve ran as easy was also a guy that was like 9 11 uh, changed my life, but he lied. He lied about it. So he admitted to lying about it. I feel like most people who were like, oh, I saw 9 11 happen and then it made me think I have to do something uh, are lying. And I think that they do that. I think it's brownie points from the general public to be like, oh, Oh, this thing made me, this tragic event made me create this big art. But it's like, what? Why the fuck did 9 11 make you do like a band that does like a bunch of songs about like breakups and like a dead girl? 
<laughs> like, is that what the Black Parade was about? I don't know that much about My Chemical Romance, but I know that 9-11 was the reason that Gerard Way started My Chemical Romance. And I know that that was the thing that, like, he was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go and I gotta make... I gotta start a fucking band. It's about going to a spooky parade. Yeah, going to a That's fucking scary. parade full of ghosts or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Well, I guess there's ghosts. Yeah, post 9 11. <laughs> the biggest problem in America post 9 11 was ghosts. And scary monsters. <laughs> and scary monsters. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess that's all I know about that. 